What's up, guys? So, I saw a thread called, you know, Your Biggest Mistakes. I thought that was pretty interesting. So, I figured I'd give you a rundown of kind of some of my biggest mistakes and, you know, kind of hopefully help you guys not make some of the same mistakes. Um, hasn't hurt me too bad, but at this point, I, you know, I do feel kind of limited. So, my first mistake that I ever made in the game was leveling Ahsoka Tano, okay? And that's because early on, she really deceived me, because she was really powerful, from 1 to 30, 1 to 40, 1 to 50 even. I mean, she was a staple in my team comp to win light side battles. And, you know, I thought, wow, she's going to be really powerful. Um, some soft launch players, I reached out to them, they said, you know, she's not very good, just be mindful. I didn't listen, I didn't heed their warnings, and I thought, no, I'm just going to do it, screw it. And I had gotten her from, like, a paid pack, so I already had her three star or whatever, so I thought that would be really beneficial to me. Um, as you can see, she is seven star, fully geared. She has a lot of my, um, my purple mats, my materials as well. Um, those purples cost time, effort, um, the extra shards that she took to get there. All very disappointing. Um, at the end game, I'm telling you, she's not there. She's very slow. She's not a part of the meta. She probably won't ever be anything to write home about. Um, so there's that. Uh, I leveled out. Another mistake is I leveled out Asajj. Now, this is not quite as terrible a mistake because I had a very weak uh, dark side team and she really helped me. She actually is really pretty good in PvE and um, she does have a lot going for her but at the same time uh, not super impressive. Um, not, not really someone that fits in in the meta and doesn't fit in PvP arena and that's what I'm about. That's what I like to play but you can see I'm kind of a hipster and somebody tells me something's not good. It's almost like I got to go out and try to prove them wrong. Well, I was wrong, you know. And that's you've got to trust people in this game. If they tell you something, they're probably not lying. They're probably frustrated themselves and in the same boat as you. So hipsters unite. Um, working on Plo Koon once again, part of my hipster attitude, and it all was gonna build into this clone squad. You know, maybe late late game I'll be talking to you saying, you know, hey. I'm actually pretty happy about this. Uh, it ended up paying off long term, but even if, even if they bring out two clones, um, two more clones, and it buffs up Clone Sergeant, and it helps out Fives because they have a lot of clone synergies, and it Plo Koon has synergies. The fact of the matter is, even with all that, Plo Koon just doesn't do what he's supposed to do. The only thing that is reliable about him is take charge. That's the defense up. And that can be pretty nice. That's okay. Uh, his force judgment, completely unreliable. Uh, offense down. And quelling blow, it just doesn't work. So, um, and you can see, I spent a lot of time and effort on this. If I go back, what would I have done differently? Well, for him, I probably would have gone... Geonosian Soldier, knowing what I know now, I would have gone first for Geonosian Soldier, then maybe Luke Skywalker, just something a little different, that's a little bit more useful, can fit into more teams, um, maybe even because Mace Windu gets so much more attention right now, um, it might have even been better to go Mace Windu, because they're going to have to buff him, I feel like. I mean, there's not a lot to choose from here. You could go Talia. Uh, Biggs is there, but Biggs is in a lot of places, so not really necessary. Magna Guard, I went with him for a while. Uh, that was another mistake um, here because I thought he'd be good. IG-86, I believe. Kylo Ren wasn't added till later. Mace Windu might have been a good choice out of this tier because he's, he's probably going to get buffed, but I see Plo Koon is possibly getting buffed as well. And, you know... To the clones, um, really disappointed. CT5s, um, 
in my ladder early on, uh, he looked to be, you know, pretty good. I kind of thought he was going to get, you know, better and better and better and better and better. And he just never, you know, he doesn't really fit quite into the meta. And a lot of these counter guys really don't because, you know, and you see here I have 180 shards would be six star. And then he's about 77, 78 shards away from um, being a seven star. So a lot of work has gone into him. He actually doesn't fit in that well. His skills are kind of cool. Um, but as you can see from my last PvP video, like, that is the meta. That, I mean, they murdered Phasma and Luminar. Luminar is squishy, but Phasma is pretty tanky, so they just killed her like that. Before I ever got a turn, they got two turns in before I ever had a chance to do anything. Um, and that's the thing about it. This This game is all about broadsides right now. It's like... You know, it's like old naval warfare. You know, when two ships pull up beside each other and they do a full broadside. And when you take two full broadsides, and you see just taking out two of your characters, you're you're like a table with three legs. They're just going to lean on you, and you're going to break. So, that was a mistake. Not leveling Poe when he came out was a mistake. Um, that just was stupid on my part, but you know... Hindsight's twenty twenty. Uh, people were talking potentially how good it could be, but I just didn't like the Force Awakens, so I guess I was kind of biased, and I uh, didn't want to jump in. Sometimes you got to really trust people and look at the stats yourself and kind of analyze what it's doing. I didn't really have all the um, kind of avenues of information that I do at this point, so I'm a little bit more aware of what's happening, who's going to be good, who's going to not be, you know, and the data mining really does kind of give you a heads up about things, but you still also have to have some creativity yourself, you know? So, um, using energy to farm gear instead of shards early on. For instance, playing the easy versus playing the hard maps. And it's because easy maps cost less energy, you get gear for things you need. Long term, uh, the strategy would be better if you went hard mode the whole time, and you got what gear ever you got, and you got the shards that you wanted. And at least do the hard missions that you really want shards for or long term things. That would be good. Um, that's probably something I would do differently now because um, at this point, you know, I have tons of pieces of gear for stuff that I'll probably never use because, you know, the challenges they add up at first, you know, you just blow through them so quickly. But at a certain point, you start to actually have so many of them that you just, you'll never get rid of them all. And uh, a lot of the other ones, the gear, you could get pretty reliably from hard. It would take you longer to gear up your characters, but long term, you'd be better because you'd be building up more shards and have access to a little bit of variation. So, again, um, just saying leveling out clone troopers, trying things out like that, strategizing, thinking you can make a Night Sister speed team. Uh, and that comes back to thinking, this is a big mistake, thinking that leadership skill worked in Arena. And that's terrible that that has to be a mistake. Because, you know, you have players out there kind of planning ahead, and this is not clearly documented. It's pretty frustrating, but that was my mistake. So, you know, if you're not sure about something... The sad fact is with CG, it's like you, I mean, you're led to believe something. you got to really ask people, hey, is this working as intended? Does this work? Does this character stuff work? I mean, so, <sighs> choosing Han over Poe, once again, thinking that uh, that led me into the Akbar Han drive, and that was a huge failure on my part. Um, Han is weaker in every single way it's crazy how some of you i mean some people on the forums y'all are like y'all literally are dumb as rocks on the forums i mean you guys are stupid i don't know how else to say it you maybe don't know anything you maybe are assuming but read some stats just look on swgoh please do yourself a favor don't be an idiot, man. When you guys say stuff like Han is better than Poe in every single way except for speed. No. You're just dumb. That's not true. 
uh, I don't know how else to break it to you. Statistically, health-wise, everything is better about Poe than Han. The only ever possible way that Han would have been better than Poe, which I thought, and this is back before I understood speed and how turn one works, is that, well, shit, speed leader. He'll get 144 speed, or he'll get 130, 40 speed. He'll be better than Poe, and that way he might have been. Now he's not. Just simple, plain fact of the matter is he, because leadership speed doesn't work, Han Solo doesn't work in the way that he's supposed to. He'll die. He's way squishier. And at this game level, two broadsides from anybody. And don't act like I don't know what I'm talking about. Because I stopped farming his last star because it doesn't make that much difference in HP. Don't question me on this. You guys don't know what the hell you're talking about if you're telling me that he's great. He's got 9k health. I can tell you right now that Poe has over 1100. For sure. So, you're just being dumb. So, sorry to break it. Um, yeah. Uh, le leveling out, uh, leveling out some of these characters, especially paid characters. You know, I leveled out Boba Fett. I leveled out Mace Windu. You know, I think even some of these people have some stuff. No, good. Um, Ayla. I know I put some into her. Not too badly invested. Um, but you see, I thought, oh, Lando, I heard good things, so I'm just thinking, oh, I'll play him. Well, dude, don't be stupid. LOL. He doesn't work unless you have many shards for him. Paid characters are not worth investing in, so that was a big mistake on my part. Um... Some successes, uh, things to, you know, be proud of is I did finish GW, and you can't say that I exploited because the reality is now is that obviously CG intends for you to be able to reset the match. I was not using the old retreat function, I just used forced close, and now that's the standard, so you can't ever say that I exploited the system or anything. I generally won GW all the way, I think I missed probably four days through 50 when it was really challenging for me, but at this point I've beat it pretty much every day. I think I've only lost once under, and uh, I think y'all might have seen that. But, um, you know, I gotta be proud of that. Uh, and I did it fairly based off now the fact that retreat is now set up to be the old force close method. So that's kinda, it's kinda useful. Uh, I did do all my events and challenges. I did all those daily every single day since I started um, which goes back into the whole don't do the easy missions for gear type thing. Not because it has challenges have every piece of gear you need but just because um, you can get those other pieces of gear from hard missions and it may take you longer but you'll have more shards to show for it so you have higher characters so you'll have maybe some potential there. Especially free to play ladders man. I would love to be that guy who had um been farming shards from the beginning those are worth way more in the long term um i completed all my daily activities daily so <laughs> that was that was good i buy four time shipments every day so set a clock six hours and show up and get your shipments that also helps as far as the gear stuff um and then i stayed in the arena and i've stayed near the top five every day and you know I've pressed through some hard times like when you know the ladder gets really really difficult and challenging I do get frustrated but I just keep going and um, just keep hoping into the future you know I really shouldn't gamble like I do thinking that this and that are gonna work and need to stop being such a strategist sometimes and be a little bit more flavor of the month myself and just kind of go with what I know works, so, those are just some things, so, you know, if you guys are just starting, or even now, now's the best time to start to change some of those practices, I mean, you get into a bad routine, and you may keep going, just like Ahsoka, even though I knew what I was doing at a certain point, I still finished it all, just because I was like, I'm gonna get this off my plate, I'm gonna get this out of my mind, I don't, just cut it off, just cut it off like a bad limb, and just stop it. Um, at this point, I might 
possibly regret not finishing Sidious, but he's he's in a good place. I mean, he's only two days worth of PvP away from leveling him out to max and or to six, and he would be pretty viable. And then uh, at seven star, that's like what ten days. So he's like twelve days away from being fully max so he you know I worked on him I unlocked him I didn't get him with a pack so uh, that was a lot of energy and effort into him and he's actually become pretty powerful at 70 so anyways guys just um just sharing some of my you know ups and downs with y'all so hopefully that helps and hopefully this wasn't a waste of your time y'all take care